Hello guys, it's Skier73Ride, and today we're going to be playing some more Civ 5. Okay, so, we're keeping going with the Pocatello, uh, Pocatello Civ. Okay, so, we're coming right from where we left off. So, Mosokani is currently building Stonehenge. And, okay, so we've got another bit of faith to adopt. I also get the path of belief is the second most popular. Okay, yeah, I'll have that. I'll have um, religious tolerance. Quite useful. Alright, so. Our pathfinders are currently looking around the place. Searching a bit more. I think because I've done it in Earth map. I think I'm probably... Yeah, I'm down the bottom. Because, as I said last episode. I'm not going to be getting doing any of this. Trying to get tons of faith. Trying to get tons of, um, tons of weaponry, because the minute I get tons of weaponry, I'll stop building all these faith buildings that I want to get. Because what I probably want to do is get building those. What I'm probably going to do is get my victory by building lots of uh, wonders and getting lots of great people. And the easiest way to get great people, as everyone knows, is by getting though getting the good old great profits so we're probably gonna so probably by the end by the start of the next episode we'll have Stonehenge built they'll be good okay so after Stonehenge has been built we're probably gonna go for a settler we're gonna start settling up here where the truffles are get a bit more gold into our system and we're probably going to, first thing we're probably going to build up there is a shrine because shrines are what we need most because they get us, they get us, um, they get us, they get us things that we need, they get the faith that we really want right now. Okay, so we're currently Stonehenge getting built and we're so racking up the gold so we might be able to actually just buy the shrine in by the shrine that we're going to build. Okay, so there's another barbarian encampment there. It's a bit of a bit of bit irritating because we don't have that we don't have those missionaries yet. And we don't have enough to build our religion. I think you need two hundred and fifty for the religion? What I want to do is just keep these barbarians out of the way. Out, out of the way. Make sure they don't attack my um, sieve yet. Because as long as I don't get attacked, because I don't have a, actually have any military. So as long as they don't attack me, I'm good. Because I don't particularly feel like having to buy myself a military quickly to fend off some barbarians. Because the minute you could start getting your own barbarians straight off from barbarian, getting your own people from barbarian encampments, it's really simple because you don't have to like upgrade. You don't have to actually build them at all. You just have to buy the missionaries that once I have enough, not enough, I'm actually building lots of faith up. It'll be quite quick. Okay, so where currently is my guy? Oh, he's getting trapped by barbarians again. Brilliant. Okay. Um, yeah, I could probably just kill off those barbarians there. Might stop some barbarians from coming soon. Okay, so it's ten turns till Stonehenge is built. They'll be good for me because I... I'm getting closer to Stonehenge, that means I'll get closer to my five, plus five faith every turn. Would be good. Alright, so what I want to do, where are those barbarians going? Okay, those barbarians have got, actually no, I might be in South America actually. Yeah, I'm in South America currently. So that's a bit bad for my plan of the faith from the deserts. 
that I pro I didn't take that perk because well currently I don't have any deserts around and also the building those wonders will really help later in the game 15% percent extra production when building when building wonders is really useful late in late game because that means you're churning out the wonders ridiculously quickly Okay, we've got six turns till um, Stone Stonehenge is built. Be good because currently I need a real boost on my on the amount of um, the amount of what's it called the amount of faith that I'm gaining per turn. So I'm really not gaining any faith per turn. Gaining two faith per turn. That's really not much at all. He who destroyed. Okay, so I uh, choose some. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go for that because that temple gives me two faith, so I, I can build that after I, I finished. Actually, now I'm gonna change with that. I'm not gonna go for that because. Got some stuff that I really need to research. Good, I can adopt another policy. Okay, I'll get those the reform Reformation. Okay, that's good. Because that means that I can get that missionary upgrade. That is really useful in the long run because you just send out your missionaries and they can just change all of the all of your people. Okay, so let's get rid of him. Take a shot at him. Choose production. What do I want to produce? Okay, what I'm probably going to go for is that great library. Okay, so someone else is very hard on their science. And so far, I don't think I've found anyone that's actually actually competing any other great wonders. Great, well, ancient wonders, I think it is. So far, I haven't found anyone that's doing any of them. So that's good for me because... That means I don't have anyone competing with me for these great wonders. Someone's probably going to churn out that Temple of Artemis soon. So I'm not going to go to that because in the long run the Temple of Artemis really doesn't help. It only helps with building them archers that are only really good for in the early game. Good, okay, that's grown. Um... Maybe when I get 500 gold, I might buy a uh, buy a settler, just so I don't have to produce him. There'll be two times time I'll be able to buy a settler, because quite honestly, buying a settler isn't high on my list of priority. Making a settler isn't very high on my list of priorities. So if I can actually buy him, then that'll really make my time a lot easier. My only problem is these barbarian encampments really close to me. Because till I get a missionary, I can't really do anything about them. Okay. Yeah, I can buy that settler. So next turn I'll be able to move that settler up here. Okay, um, what's actually what's brilliant about the other side of uh, the other side of the Andes? I think this mountain range is in that real life is that actually no one can get to you unless they get to you through the sea. That's really useful. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna move the settler, and then I'll let's I'm gonna call it there for today because, well. 
we've got we've made a good progress this time. Got an extra bit of an extra bit of faith from the sto from Stonehenge. Okay, so guys, goodbye and thank you for Even watching. My and my name's Skin Seven Three Nine. Like and